Praise the Lord. Welcome to Times of Refreshing. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we begin today in your name, the name of Jesus Christ. Bless every listener and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I especially welcome you today to the healing scriptures. I'm a living witness of the healing power in the scriptures, the word of God. Some time ago, I passed through the valley of the shadow of death. I had a challenging health issue that was beyond any medical or human explanation or understanding. Humanly speaking, all hope was lost. The God's word, the scriptures, quickened my physical body. And today I'm alive and well. I have documented this testimony in one of my books titled Rescued from Destruction. The scripture is the living word of God. So as you read these same scriptures that God used to rescue me, open your heart and the life of God will flow into your being and your long-awaited healing shall be made manifest. Amazingly, there are scriptures on healing in every book of the Bible. So read with me the scriptures on healing. The Bible says in John 6, 63, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. No matter the situation you are in right now, as you read the scriptures over and again, I want you to put your faith on the line and I can guarantee you that your life will change for the better. Like it happened to me, your situation will change. Through the scriptures, God opened my grave. He can open yours too. God's word is living. Friend, God is about to do something marvelous in your life. Open up to him. Remember, there is no closed case with God, including yours. Now, with faith in your heart, come along with me as we read together the scriptures on healing from each of the book of the Bible, beginning with the book of Genesis. From the Old Testament, Genesis 1, 26, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. So you are meant to have dominion and authority over that health situation. Genesis 18, 14. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Friend, your case is not too hard for God. Exodus 23, 25. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. God is taking that sickness away from your body right now. Exodus 14, 30. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. The same way God saved Israel out of the hands of the Egyptians. Today, he will save you from that sickness in your body. Leviticus 26, 6. And I will give peace in the land, and you shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will read evil beasts out of the land, neither shall the sword go through your land. Leviticus 26, 8. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight, and your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. That sickness in your body is an enemy, and I see it fall right now. Numbers 23, 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time it shall be said, what has the Lord wrought? In the same vein, everything contrary to the doing of the Lord in your life and your health shall be permanently removed today. Say aloud amen to that. Deuteronomy chapter 7, 
and verse 15, and the Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest, upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. Right now, I see God taking that sickness away from your body completely. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 7, The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Listen, that sickness in your body is an enemy. God will smite it and bring your desired testimony. Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Remember that fear is the bait of the enemy. Don't you ever be afraid of that sickness. Rather, be strong and of a good courage. Joshua 5, 9. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt from off you. That sickness in your body is a reproach and God is ruling it away. Joshua 6, 20. So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpet. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Like the wall of Jericho, that sickness in your body shall fall down flat. Let me hear you loud and believing. Amen. Judges 6, 9. And I delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians and out of the hand of all that oppressed you and drove them out from before you and gave you their land. That sickness in your body is an oppression of the enemy. I see God driving it out completely from your body today. Ruth 3.11, paraphrase. And now, my daughter, fear not, I will do to thee all that thou requirest. Oh, friend, I see God doing to you all that you require concerning your health even today. First Samuel 2, 8. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dung hill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. Hallelujah. God is lifting you out of that dunghill of sickness and setting you up on the throne of health and vitality. 1 Samuel 2.10 The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. That adversary of sickness in your body shall be broken to pieces today. 2 Samuel 5.20 and David came to Baal Perazim, and David smote them there and said, The Lord hath broken forth upon mine enemies before me at the breach of waters. God is breaking forth upon that enemy of sickness in your body and giving you victory. First Kings 5 4. But now the Lord my God hath given me rest on every side so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurring. All this will become your testimony in the name of Jesus. 2 Kings 5.1 Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor. But he was a leper. Verse 14, Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. Yes, God will clean you of every bot over your head, just like he did with Naaman. First Chronicles 16, 22, paraphrase, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. 
You are God's anointed and you will become a touch not from henceforth. 1 Chronicles 4.10 And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou would have blessed me indeed and enlarged my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou would have kept me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Oh, like God did for Jabez, your request concerning your health shall be granted in Jesus' name. 2 Chronicles 15, 4. But when they in their trouble did turn unto the Lord God of Israel and sought him, he was found of them. As you turn to the Lord in this difficult situation of your life, you will find him. 2 Chronicles 30, 20. And the Lord hearkened unto Hezekiah and healed the people. The same way God will hearken to you and heal your body. Ezra 8.23 So we fasted and besought our God for this and he was entreated of us. God will be entreated of you over your health. Nehemiah 4.9 Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. As you set your watch and make your prayer unto God, he will establish your desires in Jesus' name. Nehemiah 8.10 paraphrased, For the joy of the Lord is your strength. So keep a joyful attitude. Even in that situation that you are in right now, joy is a source of strength. Therefore, remain joyful. Esther 6.1 On that night could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles, and they were read before the king. Oh, just because of you, God is awake and he is checking through the book of records to establish your desired healing. Esther 7, 2, paraphrase. What is thy petition? And it shall be granted thee. And what is thy request? And it shall be performed even to the half of the kingdom. This is God speaking to you right now. Whatever might be your petition concerning your health, it shall be granted unto you supernaturally. Esther 9, 5. Thus the Jews smote all their enemies with the stroke of the sword and slaughter and destruction and did what they would unto those that hated them. You know what? That sickness in your body is your enemy. And just like the Jews did to all their enemies, you will smite that sickness and victory shall be yours. Job 14, 7. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not seal. As you go through these scriptures right now, please remember, your case is not hopeless. There is hope for you. Job 22, 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Right now, as you read these scriptures, I see the light of God shining upon your health. Job 22, 27. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. As you make your prayers concerning the healing you desire from God, God will hear you. Say, believing, amen. Job 22, 29. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, there is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. There is lifting for you from that sickness to health in the name of Jesus. Job 34, 29. When he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? God is giving you quietness, peace, and serenity over your health, which no devil can change. Job 42, 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. God will turn your captivity and give you double 
for your trouble. Psalms 30, 11. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and guided me with gladness. This shall become your testimony. Psalms 34, 5. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. As you keep your eyes on God and his word, no more shame over your health. Psalms 34, 10. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Health is a good thing. You will no longer lack it in the name of Jesus. Psalms 34, 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Oh, hallelujah, dear listener. Be aware that the angels of God encamp round about you right now for your deliverance. Psalms 46, 10 and 11. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. You have a duty to refuse to be anxious. Relax, be still. God is with you. Psalms 84, 11. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. God will not withhold good health from you. Psalms 89, 34. My covenant will I not break, nor utter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Remember, God is a covenant keeper. He will keep his covenant of health over your life. Psalms 91.10 There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Sickness is evil, and God is binding it out of your life right now. No matter the plague that comes upon the earth, God has given you this assurance from his word, and you shall be exempted. Psalms 94, 1. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. God is a God of vengeance. He will show himself faithful over your health. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Proverbs 4, 20 to 23. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. As you read the scriptures right now, health is being restored to all your flesh in Jesus' name. Proverbs 10, 24, paraphrase, the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Hallelujah, good news. God will grant your desire for good health. Proverbs 14, 19, the evil bow before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. That sickness in your body is evil. It's buying right now before the good, which is health and vitality. Proverbs 23, 18. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. This scripture is repeated in chapter 24, 14. Your expectation shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus Christ. Proverbs 18.10 The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. There is safety for you as you call on the name of Jesus. Ecclesiastes 3.1 Paraphrase To everything there is a season. Your season of restoration of health is finally here. Ecclesiastes 9.4 for to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. I declare right now that there is hope for you. You will make it. Ecclesiastes 8.5 Who
whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. You shall not feel any evil or sickness anymore in Jesus' name. Ecclesiastes 10, 8, paraphrase. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it. Every pit that the devil dug for you over your head, I've got good news for you. He himself will fall into it. Songs of Solomon 1, 3. Because of the savour of thy good ointment, thy name is as ointment poured forth. As you call on the name of Jesus, the name above all names, the oil, the anointing, and the unction of healing shall be poured forth into your body to establish your desired healing. Isaiah 3.10 Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him. So right now, I say to you, dear listener, because you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, it shall be well with you. I want you to shout a loud amen wherever you are right now. Isaiah 41, 10 and 11. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen ye. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and be confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. This is God's promise concerning you. Claim it right now. Isaiah 41, 13. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. What a joy. The help of God is coming your way right now. Isaiah 43, 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. What a great promise. This is God's promise to you. You are coming out of that challenge over your head victoriously. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Remember, you know, the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. What men thought to be impossible, God will do it in your life supernaturally. Isaiah 49, 15. Can a woman forget her sucking child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Friend, let me assure you, God has not forgotten you. Isaiah 49, 25. But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children. God is working on your behalf. Isaiah 53, 1. Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Believe God's report, and he will establish it in your life. Isaiah 54, 14 and 15. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Beloved, I rejoice with you. No weapon formed against you concerning your health shall ever prosper. Isaiah 61, 7. For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. God is bringing you to your season of double and everlasting joy. Congratulations. 
Jeremiah 8, 22. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Oh, friend, there is a balm in Gilead. And the physician is available for your health right now. His name, Jesus. Jeremiah 22, 29. Oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. If the earth could hear the word of God, then your body can hear the word of the Lord. And your body is hearing God's word right now and responding positively as you listen and read the scriptures with me. Jeremiah 30, 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they had called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. It's your season of restoration. God is restoring health unto you like he did in my case. Your testimony shall be stronger. Jeremiah 32, 27. Behold, I'm the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Good news. Your case is not too hard for the Lord. Lamentations 337. Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not? What God commanded concerning your well-being and health shall surely come to pass. Lamentation 3, 57 to 58. Thou drawest near in the day that I called upon thee. Thou saidest, fear not. O Lord, thou hast pleaded the causes of my soul. Thou hast redeemed my life. You are redeemed, and the day that you call upon the Lord, he is near. Ezekiel 36, 9. For behold, I am for you, and I will turn unto you, and you shall be tilled and sown. This is God's word concerning you. Ezekiel 37, 3 to 7. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause bread to come into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. As you read these healing scriptures with me, I prophesy to you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say unto you, you shall live, you shall not die, but you shall live and declare the works of the Lord. Say, I receive it by faith. Daniel 6.22 My God has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouths that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me. And also before you, O king, have I done no hurt. Daniel 6.20, paraphrase. Thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions, deliverance is your portion. Daniel 6.27, he delivereth and rescueth, and he worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. Who had delivered Daniel from the power of the lions? Oh, hallelujah, that same God is working signs and wonders over your head and restoring it to you right now, as he did in the case of Daniel. Hosea 12, 13. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. Hosea 6, 1. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath turned and he will heal us. As we listen to these healing scriptures, God's healing power is coming to your system. Hosea 13, 4. Yet I am the Lord thy God from the land of Egypt, and thou shalt know no God but me, for there is no Savior beside me. Resolve it in your heart right now, beloved, no other God but the living God. Hosea 13, 14. I will ransom them from the power of the grace. I will redeem them from death. 
O death, I will be thy plagues. O grief, I will be thy destruction. Repentance shall be hid from my eyes. Right now, I see God ransoming you and redeeming you from the power of the grave. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmerworm, my great army which I sent among you. God is bringing restoration your way and over your health in the name of Jesus. Joel 2.21 Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Oh yes, that scripture is for you. God will do great things concerning your head, even right now. Joel 2.26 And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. Joel 2.27 Paraphrased My people shall never be ashamed. You will not see shame over your head any longer in the name of Jesus. Joel 2.32 And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Because you have called on the name of the Lord over your health, you shall be delivered. Amos 9.13 Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, all the hills shall melt. Yes, that hill, that mountain of problem, of challenge over your health and situation is melting away right now. Amos 9.11 In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is falling and close up the bridges thereof, and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. Yes, my friend, I see God raising you up right now from that bed of affliction and building up your health to the glory of his name. Obadiah verse 17. But upon one Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Yes, this is God's word concerning you. There is deliverance for you right now. Healing, health, and vitality is part of your possessions. And I see you possessing it right now in the name of Jesus. Jonah 2, 1 and 2. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord. And he heard me out of the belly of hell, cried I, and thou hadest my voice. Yes, that situation you are in right now may look so difficult, but as you cry unto the Lord, he will answer you. Micah 5, 9 Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. You can claim that promise right now. Yes, it's for you. Micah 7, 7 and 8 Therefore, I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. O friend, God right now is rejoicing over you and his hand shall be against your enemy. A change of story awaits you. Nahum 1.7 The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Keep your faith and your trust in God. He will be your stronghold. Nahum 1.9 Paraphrase Affliction shall not rise up the second time. Yes, that's for you. As God brings deliverance your way right now, you will never experience this affliction anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. Habakkuk 2, 4, paraphrase, The just shall live by his faith. So put your faith on the line as you read these healing scriptures with me right now and life will flow into your system. Habakkuk 3, 18 and 19. 
yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hinds feet, and he will make me to walk upon mine high places. Yes, I see you walking upon your high places in that particular situation over your head in the name of Jesus. Zephaniah 3.15 The Lord had taken away thy judgment. He had cast out thine enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. I want you to shout a loud amen to that. Because you shall not see evil anymore. Zephaniah 3.17 The Lord your God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Yes, God is mighty in your life and he will do mighty miracles. Zephaniah 3, 19 and 20. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee and I will save her that halted and gather her that was driven out and I will give them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time, will I bring you again even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord. Yes, that word of prophecy is for you. God is turning your captivity. Haggai 1.13 I am with you, saith the Lord. Oh yes, right there in that situation, God is with you. And because he is with you, you are coming out victoriously. Haggai 2, 7. I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. Whatever doesn't glorify God must leave your body. Zechariah 4, 7. Who art thou, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel thou shalt become a plain, and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof. With shoutings crying, grace, grace unto thee. Yes, that great mountain of sickness, of inconveniences over your physical body is tumbling down. Zechariah 9, 11 and 12. As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have set forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto you. What a joy. God is rendering double unto you right now. Malachi 3, 17. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that served him. Oh yes, God is sparing you right now. Malachi 4, 2. But unto you that fear my name, shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the storm. Jesus Christ, the Son of Righteousness, is arising right now with healings in his wings on your behalf. Malachi 4.3 And you shall tread down the wicked, for there shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Yes, I see God treading under your feet right now, that wickedness over your health. Now, let's begin with the New Testament. And then in the New Testament, beginning from the book of Matthew, Matthew 4, 11. Then the devil levered him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Sickness is of the devil. I see it leaving you and the angels of God ministering unto you right now. Matthew 6, 11. Give us this day our daily bread. Oh yes, health and vitality is part of your daily bread from the Lord. Receive your portion for today right now. Matthew 7, 11. If ye then been evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them 
that ask him. Health is good. And as you ask from the Lord, who is your heavenly father, he is delivering your portion to you right now. Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yes, that yoke of sickness is being taken off your body right now. Matthew 15, 13. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father had not planted shall be rooted up. That sickness in your body is not the planting of the Lord. So I uproot it right now in the name of Jesus. Matthew 18, 18. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I bind that spirit of sickness in your body right now, and I decree your total liberty. Matthew 19, 26, paraphrase. But with God, all things are possible, and that includes your own health and vitality. Matthew 21, 22. And all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. Receive your healing right now. Mark 1, 34. And he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. That same Jesus is right there where you are. As you listen to these healing scriptures, I see him perfecting your health. Mark 9, 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Yes, your situation is a possibility with the Almighty God. Mark 10, 27. And Jesus, looking upon them, said, With men it is impossible. But not with God, for with God all things are possible. Friend, as you listen to these healing scriptures, remember your case is a possibility with the Almighty God. Mark eleven twenty one to twenty three, and Peter, calling to remembrance, saith unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou causest is withered away. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Beloved, put your faith on the line right now. Believe God and begin to say what you desire to see. Mark 16, 17, and 18. And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Enter into your own hurtable realm in life. Luke 13, 12, paraphrased. Woman, thou art loosed from that infirmity. Yes, I see a positive change take place in your life right now. Luke 1, 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And that includes your own specific situation right now. Luke 10, 17. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. You are returning with joy. Luke 10, 18 and 19. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. Satan's plan concerning your health is falling right now. 
Luke 11, 9 and 10. And I say unto you, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Because you have asked God for healing, you have already received. Luke 21, 13, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. That situation over your head shall turn to you for a testimony. John 5, 2, now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. Verse 6, when Jesus saw him live, he knew that he had been now a long time in that case. He saith unto him, Will thou be made whole? Verses 8 and 9. Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Yes, beloved, your situation is changing for the better to the amazement of all around you. John 6, 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yes, the words that you are hearing right now, they are spirit and life. Therefore, as you receive them, life is being released into your system. Oh, glory, hallelujah. John 8, 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. As you hearken to the truth of God's word, it will establish your true healing. John 8, 36. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Freedom from sickness is your portion right now. John 10, 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. But I, Jesus, I am come, that they, that's you, might have life, and that they, that's you, might have it more abundantly. May everything the devil has stolen concerning your health be restored in abundance. John 14, 13, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You have asked God for the restoration of your health. He has done it. The Father shall be glorified through your healing. John 14, 27. Peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Beloved, no matter what your situation might be right now, don't be afraid. Right now, I speak peace to your heart in the name of Jesus. Acts 9.34 And Peter said unto him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ, make thee whole. Arise and make thy bed. And he arose immediately. In the same way, I speak to you right now. Jesus Christ, make thee whole. Arise. Whatsoever you were not able to do before this time, as you listen to these scriptures on healing, I want you to arise and begin to do them. It is already settled. Acts 19, 11. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. Yes, a special miracle is taking place in your body right now. Shout aloud, Amen. Acts 27, 34, paraphrase. There shall not a hair fall from the head of any of you. Oh, beloved, that prophecy is directed at you from the Lord. Take courage. You are coming out of that predicament. Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Oh, yes, Jesus is with you right there where you are. And he is establishing your healing. Romans 5, 5, paraphrase. And hope maketh not ashamed. Yes, I guarantee you, keep your hopes up and you shall not be ashamed. 
somebody might say, oh, what if I remain hopeful and it doesn't turn to a testimony? But I say unto you, what if you keep your hopes up and it turns to you for a testimony? You don't have anything to lose. I know you shall not be ashamed. Romans 8, 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. As you go through these scriptures right now, the spirit of God that dwells in you is quickening your mortal body. He did quicken my own body and you can see me as a living proof. I see him do the same for you right now. Romans 8, 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Oh yes, he didn't spare his only son Jesus. He will deliver to you your desired healing. Romans 9, 16. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. The mercy of God will prevail in your situation. Romans 8, 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? So, dear listener, don't allow anything to separate you from the love of God. 1 Corinthians 6, 20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Sickness doesn't glorify God. So it must leave your body right now. 1 Corinthians 11, 26. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. As you partake of the Lord's table, that is in communion, I see you having something positive to show concerning your health. 2 Corinthians 2, 14. Now thanks be to God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ. Oh yes, you are triumphing through Christ Jesus in that situation over your health. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Therefore, beloved, keep your faith active and then your healing shall be delivered. 2 Corinthians 10, 3-5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Yes, as you read the scriptures with me right now, I see the weapon of the word of God pulling down every stronghold of the devil against your health. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. The grace of God is reaching out unto you right now. Galatians 3, 13. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Yes, Christ hung on the tree for your sake, and he has redeemed you and I from the curse of the law, which includes sickness. Galatians 6, 17. From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Yes, beloved, the mark of Jesus Christ is in your body. Sickness cannot dwell there at the same time. Ephesians 2, 6. And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You are seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places and sickness has no access to that place. Ephesians 6, 10 to 14. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God 
that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins gathered about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Dear friend, it's important for you to begin to see the spiritual dimension of warfare over your health right now. Approach it from this perspective and deliverance will be your portion. Philippians 1.6 Being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Yes, God has begun a good work in your life over your health. He will perfect it. Philippians 1, 28. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of God. No matter your situation right now, refuse to be terrified. Philippians 2:10. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. That sickness has a name and that name must bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Philippians 4.4 4, Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. So keep a joyful attitude. Philippians 4, 6 and 7 Be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. So refuse to be anxious. Philippians 4, 19 But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. The need of your life right now that is most important is healing. God is supplying it to you right now. Colossians 1, 12 to 14. Giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. Yes, you have been delivered from the power of darkness. Colossians 2, 9 and 10. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Yes, dear listener, you are complete in him. Colossians 2, 14 and 15. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Every handwriting contrary to health and vitality is already nailed to the cross of Jesus. You can now lay hold on your healing right now. Colossians 3, 15. And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Yes, in your present situation, be thankful, and then you will enjoy peace like a river. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16. Rejoice evermore. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Oh, yes, in that particular situation that you are in, give God thanks. 1 Thessalonians 5.24 Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. I can testify God is too faithful to fail. He will not fail you. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God, your whole spirit, soul, and body 
be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, God will preserve your body. 2 Thessalonians 1, 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. God will trouble your troublers and deliver victory into your hand. 2 Thessalonians 3, 3. But the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from all evil. Sickness is evil. God will keep you from it. 1 Timothy 2, 6. Who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time? Jesus gave himself a ransom for your sake. You will testify. 1 Timothy 1.18 This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. So, do a good warfare with the situation you are in right now, and you shall prevail. 1 Timothy 6.12 Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. Listen, faith is the weapon you need to fight that fight, and I see you triumphing. 2 Timothy 1.7 For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Refuse to be afraid. 2 Timothy 3.11 Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Surely, God will deliver you out of all infirmities. 2 Timothy 4, 18 And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Yes, sickness is an evil work, and God will deliver you from it totally. Titus 1, 2, paraphrase. God that cannot lie. And I can testify that God cannot lie. Titus 2.11 For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Yes, that grace is appearing to you wherever you may be right now, saving you from that challenge over your health. Titus 2.13 Looking for that blessed hope, and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Philemon 1.3 Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I see the peace of God all over you right now. Philemon 1.6 That the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you, in Christ Jesus. Beloved, begin to acknowledge your healing right now, and God will establish it. Hebrews 1.3 Who, being the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, Oh, yes, he is purging you from every sickness right now. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a designer of the thoughts and intents of the heart. God's word is doing a quick work in your body right now. Hebrews 4, 15 and 16. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Surely, 
Jesus is touched with the feelings of your infirmities. Hebrews 11, 1 and 2. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. You also will obtain a good report. Hebrews 12, 29. For our God is a consuming fire. Oh, I love this. I see God consume that sickness out of your body. Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. What he did before, therefore, he will do again in your body. Hebrews 13, 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. So be praiseful, refuse to murmur, and God will establish your desired healing. James 5, 13 to 15. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Yes, as we listen to these scriptures by faith right now, God is raising you up. 1 Peter 2, 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Sickness is darkness. I see you coming out of it right now. 1 Peter 5, 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. 1 Peter 5, 10. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Oh yes, the God of all grace is going to establish and settle you in health and vitality. Second Peter 1, 3 and 4. According as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Doubtless, through God's divine power, you are escaping the corruption of sickness that is in the world and that right now. 1 Peter 2.24, paraphrase, by whose stripes ye were healed. 2 Peter 3.9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. I can assure you, God is not slow. He will establish your healing. Keep holding on. 1 John 1, 5, paraphrase. God is light and in him is no darkness at all. And because you are a child of God, I see his light consuming the darkness of sickness in your body and that right now. 1 John 3, 8. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Sickness is the work of the devil, and Jesus is destroying it right now as you listen to these scriptures. 1 John 4.4 4, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Oh yes, you have already overcome. 1 John 5, 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So keep your faith on the line. Because you are born of God, you are going to overcome. 1 John 5, 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him, 
that if we have anything according to his will, he heareth us. Be confident, therefore, that God has heard you and delivered your healing into your hand. 2 John 1, 3. Grace be with you, mercy and peace from God the Father. 3 John 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Jude 24 and 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and ever. Amen. Surely God will keep you from falling. Revelations 5, 5, paraphrase. Weep not. Oh yes, every weeping over your head comes to an end right now. Revelation 12, 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. You also will overcome. Begin to testify. Revelation 22, 1 and 2. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bear twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Yes, your healing is manifesting via the word of God right now. Revelation 21, 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Your weeping come to an end. Revelation 22, 13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. God, who had begun a good work in you, who is the Alpha and Omega, will complete it in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. Healing prayer for you. Now, having listened to the healing scriptures, I want to pray for you, not in my name, but in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above all names, including the name of that your sickness. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every other name must bow right now. I can actually feel the power and anointing of God upon my life for healing. Beloved, I have perfect hatred for sickness. Therefore, I want you to open up your heart in faith as we pray together right now. Whatever the sickness, challenge, negative doctor's report or issue might be, I Cause it in your body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree your total liberty right now. And Satan, take off your hands from the body of this individual that is listening to this right now. I decree that the healing river flow into your system. That the word of God be going to quicken your body and your liberty is restored. Just as it did in my own case, receive your testimony right now. Oh, friends, congratulations. I rejoice with you. It is done. Your testimony is next in line. Begin to give God praise. It is done. I await your testimony to the glory of God. Amen. Now, salvation prayer. Beloved, healing and divine health is a heritage of the children of God. That is, those who are saved, who are born again. Matthew 15, 22 to 26. My question to you right now, dear listener, is are you born again? Have you experienced salvation? Do you have a relationship with God? This is an all-important question that you need to answer. Reason, among other things, it will determine where you will spend eternity. But the good news is you can be saved right now. 
I therefore invite you to give your life to Jesus Christ. The only way that leads to God. Yes, the only way. With faith in your heart, say this prayer loudly as you receive Jesus into your heart. Say right now after me. Oh God, I come to you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I know I am a sinner. Be merciful unto me. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place on the cross. I believe that his shed blood, death, barrier, resurrection, and ascension were for me. Now, I consciously and deliberately receive and confess Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. Jesus, come into my heart now. Thank you for the forgiveness of my sins. Thank you for the gift of salvation and everlasting life. Now I know that I'm born again. I am saved. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray this prayer sincerely, you are now born again. Begin to enjoy divine healing and health, which is your inheritance. Having prayed the salvation prayer, I want you to log on to the website address on the screen right now to fill the salvation form. And there's a very special gift for you that you can download. It's titled, After Salvation, What Next? Ensure to attend from henceforth a Bible-believing church where you can grow in your faith for Jesus Christ. And remember to send your testimonies through this medium and connect with the social media handles at the bottom of your screen. And always remember, God is too faithful to fail.